Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new series on my channel. This is Trading to Glory. I am Fuzzball40. I'm going to be bringing you this probably three to four times a week just to give you guys an idea of how I'm making my coins outside of buying FIFA points. I'm trying to stop buying FIFA points. I didn't at the end of well, probably for like January and FIFA 19 because you didn't need to. This year I bought FIFA points and I regret it now that League SPCs have come out because it's an easy way to make coins. Uh, but essentially we're going to bring this to you ideally two on the weekends, a couple during the week. Um, the disclaimer here, if you are the sort of guy who has 8, 9, 10 hours a day to be playing this game, this guy is probably not going to be for you. There's no point in me bullshitting you, like it's probably not going to be for you. Essentially, this is the sort of guide that if you've got an hour, two hours, three hours of an evening and you want to make extra coins, then you're almost certainly going to be able to make a lot of coins doing what I'm doing now. Um, a lot of it isn't rocket science, a lot of it's already out there, but for those who don't know, I'll explain to you how you do it. Um... We're going to be doing, I'm going to show you today the methods that I use when this is my normal account, my main account. But then I'm going to set up a new account with X amount of coins at the beginning. I've got another, I've got another account that I use for SBCs and for Bantam and stuff like that on stream. We're going to transfer some coins from that because why not? Don't ban me, EA. Um, we're going to transfer the coins from that and then we're going to start trying to make coins and see where we can get basically. As a, as a normal person, because I see people like Flair, unbelievable trader, probably the best, him and Run the Foot Market, probably the two best at the moment. Um, I see people like them that are able to put in 8-9 hours and they've got 5, 10, 20 million coins. It's not going to be like that. There's no point in me lying to you. Ideally, we'd like to pray that we can get somewhere near that. But realistically, people haven't got that amount of time to be playing it. Some people work. Some people go to school. Some people do other stuff they've got outside of FIFA. So for me, this is a way that I can show you guys you can still make coins by trading, by buying, by being smart in what you're doing. Um, without having to put 20 million hours into this game and literally never see daylight, which it's outside. I want to go out today. So this is, I'll start off with the, the, the main method I'm using at the moment. And it's the one that you should all be using. And that's the League SBC method. So this year, EA said to us, they weren't going to drop League SBCs. So, well, we didn't say it to us, but it was hinted at. People then got ahead of themselves. We went to it again. League SBCs aren't coming out. League SBCs aren't, League SBCs aren't coming out. And then they did come out. Bundesliga came first. And then we had Chinese Super League afterwards. And they, they're an easy way to make coins. So I'll show you my trade pod just for now. This morning I've been going a little bit and having a little look and whatnot. Now all these players here I've bought for at least sort of 50% less than, than they cost me. And they've all sold already. I've got more selling over here. Just as an, e as an easy one. Like someone's just gone now. I don't know who that was. But I think it's quite an expensive one. I'll tell you who that was. I'll tell you what I paid for him. If it lets me show you it. I'm hoping the sound of this. The, is it this guy? I'm hoping the sound of the um, thing in the background. I'm going to give you copyright strikes. But I don't think it will. It's one of these guys. Yeah, so this guy here, I think I paid 5.5k for, and I've just sold to 6,900. Now, it's not insane amounts of profit on it, but if you think about that, after tax, they take away maybe 5% of that is, what, 350 coins? So it's 1,000 coins profit on him alone that I've made. Now, I'll give you some of my favourite sort of filters that I go for. Don't all use the same filter, because otherwise you'll all be sitting there going, like, trying to swipe against each other, and it's pointless. But essentially, my, one of my favourite ones to do is this. is centre-backs in the Chinese Super League. Now, he Hebe had the most expensive ones, um, realistically, from what I've seen. So, at the moment, it's nothing lower than 7,000. So, what I like to do is I get a database set up of the most expensive ones. So, Hebe, for example, are on mine. I know they sell for around 6.5 to 7.5k, depending on the day. I'll then buy them, hopefully, at least 500 coins lower than they are in terms of making my profit. Always keep an eye on your profit. Don't just go and buy them and think, right, well, they sell for 7.5k, so I'm going to buy them for 7,300. Because as you know, we take tax off, you'll lose coins. So to make sure you're buying it at the right value. And these are trading styles that you can use, even if you haven't got massive amounts of coins. If you've got 10k and you buy two of these players at 5k, you then turn that into 12k, 13k, and you can keep building it up. But I'll sit there and I will go to Chinese Super League and I'll go 1,000, maybe 2,000, we'll say. And I'll start at the first club. And I'll, just keep, I'll keep it as any for now. There aren't many players in this league that are gold. So, for example, Beijing Gohan haven't got any at all. So, I'll go, okay, cool. They haven't got that. Let's go to 3,900 either. 4,000, right. So, now 3,900 is the cheapest one of those on the market, okay? Now, if you want to, I know a lot of people like to do that. So, look, look at this guy. 3,900, still none. So, 4, 7 is that. So, I'll buy him. He's just come on the market, realistically. He's, he's, how long he's been on the market? I don't know exactly. But four five, so I'm not going to make massive amounts of profit off of him at all. But I still profit at the end of the day. If I list him for four four, I'll probably undercut someone. I don't know what the exact amount we're going to make on that four four takeoff. So maybe three hundred coins. It's three hundred coins I didn't have before, and that's the way I look at it. I know people go, oh, it's not worth my time to do it X Y Z, and 
if I don't make a minimum of a thousand, I, I don't bother doing it. That's stupid. Because if you're making profit, you're making profit. You're not going to make a loss realistically there. Even if you're selling for slightly less than that, you're still going to make your coins back. But that's what I do. I go through all of them. And honestly, guys, spend one day, just one day going onto the, the, the market, working out what the players are costing you, and then just get a database set up. Get Microsoft Excel up. Google, I think it's Google Docs a lot of people like to use. And just put down what they sell for for one day a week. It could be when you first wake up on a Saturday before you go play football, before you go watch the football. It'll take you an hour, two hours, two hours or two hours to update, and then that's the whole week sorted. You can work out what you want. Um, I, I'll just think through. I'll keep thinking through. And so, for example, 1,800 here minimum. So that's 1,400. I could go and buy him. But if I look at it, 1,800 wants to take... I've only still 300 coin profit if we can sell him for that. So we'll list him. And sometimes it's a bit of a risk. You've got to work out whether or not it's worth doing. But Chinese Super League is the one I'm liking at the moment. Centre-back specifically because there aren't that many that don't sell. So we'll list them up there and we'll leave that there for now. Um, the big league for making coins from, for this is obviously Bundesliga. Bundesliga, if you know your squads... What am I doing there? Let's go here. Good Bundesliga. If you know your squads in the Bundesliga, it's relatively easy. So Dusseldorf, for example, I know their defenders sell for around 7k, sometimes more, sometimes slightly less, but they're in and around 7k. So anything below that, I'm interested in. So 6, 8 here. Oh, that's a, I need to be gold. 6, 7... Five that, but he'll sell. He'll definitely sell. So he sent the back. There's uh, Carnahan, I think is his name. He sells for like a few. Look at that. But it's, it's, I'll show you now. Right. So we go silver defender. Silver. There's none. Right. So that bronze I've just picked up for five k at left back. All the left backs are here. So seven thousand one hundred. If I list that bronze, which I'm gonna do for about six eight hundred, so I undercut them because I want to get them sold. This way it is. It's quick gains without having to wait too long to be sold. You can wait a bit longer if you want to see the market, but for me, this is an easy sell. I'll list it for 6.8. Now, I've been not, this video has been going for seven minutes, and I've already made myself something in the region of 3, 4K, right? In total, in terms of players that have sold, that's 3, 4K. If you can, in an hour, make 20, 30K an hour, so let's say per day, you make 50K, right? It's easy to do. There's, there's no debate. That's easy to do. That's 350K a week you're making that you weren't making before just doing this method. So another team I like to use, Union Berlin. Actually, we're at Paderborn first. I'll show you Paderborn. So Paderborn, centre mid, CDMs. Um, I saw, I've got one on the market selling for 7,200 at the moment. None selling for that at the moment. Right? That's a really good one to go for. If I, if I get rid of this, I bet there's one that's undercut me now because my one hasn't sold yet. So there's one there for 7,000, right? I've got one for 7,200. I'll leave him. He will eventually sell, without a doubt. So Paderborn's another really good one. The Union Berlin... They're centre-backs. We'll go defender just as a standard because that's always just... Do the standard ones. But one thing I would advise you to do, go and check out what players are needed for those SBCs. So they've got gold on there, Niven Subotic. We'll look at silver specifically. We'll, we'll check bronze as well. So I know they use... This guy's a definite... These usually sell for like 3k. So I'll, lift, I'll put him up there. We'll go check what they sell and then I'll, I'll list them in a second. So I know that he sells. So that, there's nothing on the market for 3k at the moment. So I know I can list that guy for 3k and he'll sell. So I list him for 3k, he'll definitely sell. Again, after tax, we're looking at about 850 coin profit. And that, they add up. All these little bits that you spend, they all add up. So I've got one for 3 free. I need to reassess him because I put him on for too much early on. The market's a little bit cheaper than I thought it was today. But that's, not, that's all right. I still, I think I paid 2 free for one early on. So I still make profit on him. So another, another car's just sold. Who's sold? Let's have a look at who's sold now. So this guy, one, the one I was just telling you about that had no nothing less than 6.9, they're both now sold. This guy for 4.4, 4, I think I paid 2k for him. No, I think it was even cheaper than that. It's not telling me what I paid for him, but I think he was 2k. One of these guys was 2k and I made 2k profit off of him. But th these are, I literally did this 15 minutes before I started this video. I went and bought some to give you guys an example. Without doubt, there alone, I've got about 10k profit in total of what I just bought them for. It's, it's a no-brainer. League SPC method is the way forward. Don't all do the same one. Go onto Footbin and look at the car look at the um clubs and look at the cards and the, and the, the SBCs that need mainly silver, mainly bronzes. Players that haven't got positions that are outside of that. For example, I just paid for that um that left back I just bought for in Fortuna Dusseldorf. The only left backs they got are, are bronze or silver. And they're all seven thousand two hundred. So realistically he's gonna sell. I paid five K for him, even though I sent a six and a half K, once I've got tax, I'm still making twelve hundred, thirteen hundred coin profit for each one. And these aren't SPC methods that are going to make you millions of coins in an hour. They're not going to do that at all. But they're going to make you consistent coins that you can then build up, build up, build up. And if at the end of the week, put it this way, I'm, I'm saving for a Mane now right now. I don't want to use FIFA points, so I'm saving for Mane. If I do this every day for an hour, two hours, I'll have a Mane by next weekend league, ideally. And, and, it, and it is so easy to do. It's so, so easy to do. It's a league SPC method. 
Advice on League SBC method, keep an eye on the prices, they fluctuate quite a lot. The best time to buy these players is on a Thursday usually, or whenever they drop SBCs, that let, let rare Electron Player Packs, Electron Player Packs, or any time the market's going to be flooded with silver or bronzes, go and buy them, because they crash. I know last week I had, I think, 20 Ks out on this account. After the market matchups came out, I was like, okay, cool, let me go have a look. And some of the, the, the Dusseldorf players were down at 5K, so I bought like 7 or 8 of them, and I made myself 25K really easily. And you can keep doing that and keep building them up, but that's the best time to buy. Do not sell all at once because you'll flood the market and the market will crash. Just, just filter it into the market bit by bit. So as you see them drop to like, to, I go up to 6K, sell one. Sell one at 6.5, sell one at 7. Once it gets back there, list more and more, but do it bit by bit. That's how you'll make your profit and you won't flood the market. If you flood the market too quickly, with players you bought and stocked up on, the market will crash. What I'm doing right now is flipping them straight away. I don't mess about it. I just go buy it, flip it, easy as. There's no point hanging around for too long if you don't need to hang around for too long. The next uh, bit of advice I can give you is go and check out the League SBCs themselves. We'll go to the League SBCs now. Squad building challenges, leagues, and Bundesliga, for example. Right, so now I looked, when I was doing this, I looked at Paderborn, right? And I think it's Paderborn. If I'm right, I might be wrong. What's Paderborn? SC Paderborn. So look, I, I saw SC Paderborn and I was like, okay, cool. And I wondered why their right backs and left backs were so cheap when they only had left, right backs and left backs. And then I realised. All Paderborn have is centre-backs here. But these are going to be in demand. If you go centre-back on Paderborn, and we've got concept players on, we need Paderborn, obviously. Whoops. That would help. Uh, Bundesliga, Paderborn. Every single one of them is silver or bronze. So you're going to have to use one of these five. Right? So no matter what you've got, use one of these five. So we've got to have a look at what they cost. So let's go Defender, Paderborn. So we'll do centre back specifically because that's what we're looking for. So there's none on the market at the moment, that price. Go up to like 5 2. None still. I bet it's going to be like 9k or something like that. Right, so 6,900, 6,400, 5,900, 6 1. So they sell for about 6k to 7k, okay? Those guys sell for. If you can pick one or two up for 4k, 5k, you're making, you're making good profit. And it's a no brainer. But that's what you need to do. Look at the clubs and look, and look at what the SBCs need themselves. Don't just go, oh, he's a silver player, I must be able to buy him. Buy ones that are specific for that league SBC. That leads me on, we're talking about SBCs, another sort of thing you need to look at at the moment. And it, this won't last the whole time, although it might, to be fair, because it's there. Do not do this SBC because it is an utter, utter scam. This SBC here, National Pride, this one down here, utter scam. This one here is not too bad. A couple of them are, are all right to do. Like, for example, I did that one. It was all right. It cost me very little. I had most of the players in my club, so I thought, sorry, I'll do it. But this SBC is a scam. The England one in particular, and I'll show you why. You have to use championship players, and championship players aren't that high rated. It needs to have a minimum of 81 or 82 rating. I think it's 82. But so basically, let's reset this and go to championship. And we'll... Actually, I won't even do that. I'll just tell you the players that are no expensive. Charlie Austin. I picked up a few for 400 coins the other day. I was lucky. Charlie Austin does not sell for anything less than 3k usually, okay? Because you have to use him pretty much. You have, you've got no choice. So if you can get any of him cheap, he's, he's a no-brainer. Again, monitor his price. Don't sit there sniping for ages. These are the problems people do. They go, oh, I snipe these players and whatnot, and that's how you're making coins. It's a waste of your time. Don't do that. There's zero point sitting there sniping when you can just go and do the SBC method. But if I come on the market and I find a Kearney who's usually quite cheap, usually quite expensive, 1,600 for, for championship gold, if I see one for 450, even up towards 1,000 coins, I'll go and buy him. There's no point, but I won't sit there sniping them. But these are players you can keep an eye on. Every now and then I'll just check. And, and more often than not, I've come on and, and, and picked up one. And it's been really cheap. It's been really good. And it's been an easy way to make coins in that sense. Right, so Mitrovic, again, there. He's another one you have to use. And the other big guy to use is Gibbs. Now, is he... So he's, he's dropped off a little bit, I'm assuming. So Gibbs is one. Because of the way that the solution is on Footbin, people have been hunting him down for ages. Let's just see what he sells for at the moment. So 2.8 is the cheapest you can get him for right now. Or 2.7 is the cheapest you can get him for. If you can get him anywhere around 2k and whatnot, go and buy him. He's easy. Do that without a doubt. Another method I want to talk to you guys about, and it's been around since donkey's years. I think I sold some more stuff, which is good. There you go. So this morning I started off on this with 96k, I think. I'm already in profit, and I've still got all of these cards selling. So you can see how effective League SPC method is. Like, and that's not even an hour's work. So easy as anything. Uh, another method is bronze... Pack method, and I'm sure a lot of you will know what bronze pack method is. For those of you that don't, 
Essentially, you open up bonds packs and you sell the contents. We'll open up one now just for the bands. Um, it probably won't give me anything. But obviously, a lot of the Bundesliga and Chinese League players are in this. So if you get one of them, you hit the jackpot. Brilliant. If not, other players are used for solutions. So have a look. Check everything in that pack. Check every absolutely everything in that pack. So you look at it now, see what comes up. So none of these are going to sell. I can tell you that for nothing. 200 coins. 200 coins. And it's going to be 200 coins. So we'll hold on to them for now. At some point, you're going to need a, a Irish, a Irish players. You're going to need those sort of players. You will guarantee make your coins back. I keep the fitness cards because I use these. Why would I sell them for 3k if I can use those? It means that if I want to, I can go and sell my squad fitnesses and just use bonds. But essentially, important things to note the bonds pack method. On this account, on my bonds pack method, I'll keep some to sell them, but I'll convert these guys into silver, silvers that I can then use in League SPC method if I want to. So you, in the, you know the advanced, the upgrade SPCs? So we'll go to here. The ones that aren't usable, the ones that aren't going to be in League SPCs, I will then use in the bonds upgrade, which give you two silver player packs. I'll keep the ones that use in League SPCs, the ones that aren't going to silver upgrade packs, and the silver upgrades I keep, and the, the gold players that I can use in League SPCs, I'll keep the ones I can't go into gold upgrades. That's how you upgrade them, that's what you do. But, I'm gonna, I'm gonna know, I know how to do that, because I've only got two League SPCs out. So at the moment, I'm just going to hold on to the players I've got, because at some point, you are going to need Irish players for an SPC. You're going to need a Mexican player for an SPC, and they'll go up. The League 2 players for the marquee matchups this week, they were they all shot up. The League 2 players went to something like... I think in the region of 7 800 coins. Now, I had loads of, of, of those bonds in my, in my uh, club, so I sold them. And it made me maybe profit easily. So hold on to those players. See what you can make from them. More players have sold. There you go. Like, we've we made massive profits so far this morning just by doing this. League SPC methods are effective. This guy, Pacto, is irrelevant. But that guy, see that guy there? That's the guy that I just told you I bought for pay for 5k. As soon as I saw him, I was like, buy him. I was just on for 6 8 So after tax on that, I paid nearly 1,500 coins just on that one player alone. It's a no-brainer. You need to do it. Get in, Get involved. Don't go for the same players that everyone goes for. Just find out there's loads of profitable filters. And the Chinese League, strikers are really profitable. So go and do that. The last thing I'll say is one of my, my little brother, essentially, has a habit of not doing the advanced SPCs. And they are a must. They cost 25k to do their guaranteed profit. You cannot lose money on these whatsoever. Even if you pack nothing, you'll make more money than you, than you put in. So make sure you do these. I'm, on the first account, when we do the, the actual account I'm going to be doing, and we're going to see how many coins we can make, these will be one of the first, first things I'll do. I'll trade a little bit in the League SPC cards. Um, and then once I've done that, we'll then move on to these and make them. I'm not going to touch that one because it's not worth doing. But that's another thing that you guys need to look at in terms of that. And the other thing is, do every single SPC that, it, that EA come out with that is profitable. So if you're looking, if you are a no FIFA point account, not all the SPCs are actually profitable. People think they are, but a couple of the ones were not on the screen were 7 or 8k to do. And it gave you like a premium Electrum players pack back. And some of those ones, you only get a 5 or 6k back uh, uh, for the SPC. And I didn't bother doing them. I was like, well, there's no point. A couple of them were 2k. You got a rare gold pack. And you were guaranteed a good amount of profit from them. And I think yesterday was a mega pack, if I'm not mistaken. I believe there was. I think it was a me me mega pack yesterday. Which one was it? Which is spell? I think it was that one. But it was it was a mega pack, essentially. Um, it was worth doing. It was it was guaranteed profit. So make sure, you, make sure you're thinking wisely about what, how you're spending your coins. But I would give you the advice, League SPC method, Bonds Pack method, and then just sniping players that you know are used in, in the SPC Footbin solutions. Go and look at, at Footbin and look at the solutions and see the ones that have got. Sometimes you get like someone's randomly got Colombian League in there to fill it out with bronzes, and the Colombian players go to four or five hundred coins at a time. So for your, your Bonds Pack method, those coins will then, those pack players you pack will make you back your money you pack guaranteed. But also you can then go and snipe those players. Like if you want to sit there and snipe Colombians for 200 coins, you'll probably make some of your money back. But it's important to check the market. So that's going to be the end of this video, lads. This is episode one of it. We're going to, the second episode is going to be the setup of the other account and me showing you what I've made in the first hour or two of me doing that. Um, that'll probably go live during the week and probably maybe tomorrow, hopefully. Because uh, I'm going to be doing that now, essentially. I'm going to be doing that as we speak. And some of this stuff will be done on stream, lads. So down below is my, twi is my Twitch link. Go and follow me. We do this stuff on stream live. We do giveaways on stream every single week. Today is Sunday. Today will be giveaway day. We have a giveaway stream every Sunday. You can win a gift card uh, for Xbox or PS4. So make sure you go and follow me there. Drop me a subscription here if you haven't. We're going to be doing loads of these training videos because I, want, I, will, I will show you my team from last year. I stopped buying FIFA points at the beginning of the year. I was like, nah, I'm not doing it. And I just did trading methods. I followed some really good traders and then I come up with some, my own stuff. So some of the stuff that I realised was making coins. I ended that game with Prime R9, with Hullet, with all those. I had a ridiculous squad at the end of that game. And there was no FIFA points uh, spent at the end of it. 
But that's going to be the end of the video. It's been a bit of a lengthy one, 20 minutes. But I want to explain to you and show you how you can make it. People say to you, go and do these SPCs, or these league SPC method, and don't show you the profit. I've just shown you there how much, how quickly you can make profit. But please drop a like. Please share this, if you, this video around if you want. Let people know I exist. But come and join me in my streams on Twitch. Drop me a follow. For now, peace out. See you later.